Do you know what the most common interview questions are and how to answer them effectively? Picture this. You're in a job interview, palms slightly sweaty, heart thumping, and then the interviewer throws a curveball question your way. You freeze, unable to come up with a satisfactory response. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Well, guess what? You're not alone. Countless individuals find themselves in similar situations primarily due to a lack of preparation. And that's exactly what we're here to address today. We're going to delve into the 10 most common interview questions, dissecting each one to understand its significance. And no, we won't stop there. We'll also equip you with practical strategies, tips, and model responses to help you navigate these questions with confidence and authenticity. This journey will be insightful, empowering, and hopefully a game changer for your next interview. So, are you ready? Dive in with us as we explore these common interview questions and arm you with the best strategies to tackle them. First up, tell me about yourself. Sounds simple, right? But it's more than just sharing your life story. This question is your chance to provide a snapshot of who you are professionally. Employers are looking to see if you're self-aware, confident, and able to articulate your unique value proposition. So how do you structure your answer? Start with a brief background of your professional journey. Highlight key achievements or experiences that are relevant to the job you're applying for. Then succinctly describe your current situation and what you're doing or looking to do next. For example, I'm a marketing professional with over five years of experience in digital marketing and content strategy. At my current role, I've successfully led campaigns that increased web traffic by 30%. Now, I'm looking to apply my skills in a more challenging environment. Remember, keep it professional, relevant, and concise. Scene script. Next is, why should we hire you? This is your chance to shine. This question might seem daunting at first, but it's actually a golden opportunity. It's your moment to demonstrate how your unique blend of skills and experience aligns seamlessly with the job you're vying for. Start by understanding the job requirements deeply. Once you're clear on what they're looking for, map your strengths to these requirements. Have you led a team? Managed a project? Solved a complex problem? But remember, it's not just about listing your accomplishments. You need to connect the dots for the interviewer. Show them how your past experiences have equipped you to excel in this role. Most importantly, demonstrate value. Illustrate how you can contribute to the company's goals and vision. How can you make a difference? It's all about painting a vivid picture that leaves no doubt in the interviewer's mind. Show them why you're the best fit for the role. Scene script. Moving on to what are your weaknesses? A tricky one, but don't worry. We've got you covered. When asked about your weaknesses, it's important to turn a negative into a positive. This doesn't mean you should claim to be a perfectionist or that you work too hard. Interviewers see through these cliches. Instead, identify a real but non-critical weakness that you're working on. For instance, you might say, I can sometimes get caught up in the details of a project which can slow me down. However, I am learning to better manage my time and prioritize tasks. The key is to show honesty and a willingness to improve. This demonstrates self-awareness and a commitment to personal growth, both of which are highly valued by employers. Remember, everyone has weaknesses. What sets you apart is your ability to acknowledge them and your determination to turn them into strengths. Turn your weakness into a strength. Now, where do you see yourself in five years? It's not a trick question. It's a chance for you to showcase your ambition and dedication. But remember, it's a delicate balancing act. You want to show them you're eager to progress, but you don't want to seem like you're eyeing the interviewer's chair. Start by emphasizing your commitment to the role you're applying for. Demonstrate your understanding that mastering a position takes time. You might say, in five years, I see myself as a valued contributor who's deeply familiar with the company's operations and ready to take on more responsibilities. Next, express your willingness to grow within the company, but avoid being too specific about the position you'd like to hold. 
It's about conveying a sense of loyalty and long-term commitment. So, when you're asked, where do you see yourself in five years? Remember, it's not just about ambition, it's about dedication. Show them you're in it for the long haul. Why did you leave your last job? It's important to answer this one with care. This question allows potential employers to understand your motivations and career trajectory. It's vital to avoid negativity or criticism of your former employer as it can leave a poor impression. Instead, frame your departure in terms of personal and professional growth. You might say you were seeking new challenges, wanted to broaden your skill set, or were looking for opportunities that better aligned with your career goals. If you were let go, it's okay to be honest, but keep it brief and refrain from blaming others. You could say, for example, that the company underwent restructuring and your position was eliminated. Remember, the goal here is to show that you're forward thinking and eager to seize new opportunities. You're not running from the past, you're running towards the future. Stay positive and focus on the future. Scene script. Up next, how do you handle stress and pressure? This one's a test of your resilience. When faced with this question, your response should highlight your ability to perform under pressure and your capacity to stay calm and effective. It's crucial to demonstrate that you're not only able to withstand stressful situations, but also thrive in them. You might say something like, I've found that the best way to handle stress is to take a step back, prioritize my tasks and focus on the one at hand. Remember, interviewers aren't just interested in hearing that you can manage stress, they want to know how. This is where you can bring in past experiences. Maybe there was a tight deadline at your previous job and you had to coordinate with various teams to get the job done. Or perhaps you had to handle an upset customer and manage to turn the situation around. The key is to illustrate your ability to remain calm, focused and productive even when the pressure's off. Don't just say it, illustrate it with a story. Stories are memorable and they bring your skills to life. Show them you can stay cool under pressure. Moving on to, what are your salary expectations? A delicate question, but will help you navigate it. First, it's essential to have a clear understanding of the market rate for your role in your industry and location. Research is your best friend here. Websites like Glassdoor and Payscale can provide a ballpark figure. Having this information on hand can prevent you from undervaluing or overpricing yourself. Next, always provide a salary range rather than a fixed number. This demonstrates flexibility and leaves room for negotiation. But remember, the lowest number in your range should still be a figure you're comfortable with. It's also crucial to factor in the entire compensation package not just the base salary. Consider benefits like health insurance, vacation time, and retirement plans. Finally, express your openness to negotiation. This shows your potential employer that you're reasonable and not solely focused on the money. Know your worth, but also be open to negotiation. Finally, do you have any questions for us? The answer should always be yes. But why is that? Well, it's simple. This question isn't just a polite gesture. It's an opportunity for you to demonstrate your curiosity, your knowledge about the company, and your enthusiasm for the role. It's also your chance to evaluate if the job and the company are the right fit for you. So, what kind of questions should you ask? You could inquire about the company culture, the team you'll be working with, or the challenges you might face in the role. You could ask about the company's future plans or how they measure success in your prospective role. These questions show that you're thinking about more than just getting the job. You're considering how you can grow with the company and contribute to its success. Remember, interviews are a two-way street. We've covered a lot today, but remember, preparation is key. We've navigated through 10 common interview questions, from introducing yourself to discussing your salary expectations, each question is a unique opportunity to showcase your skills, values, and aspirations. It's crucial to remember that tell me about yourself is your chance to set the tone of the interview. When asked, why should we hire you?
focus on your unique selling proposition. Acknowledge your weaknesses, but also emphasize your strategies for improvement. Be forward-looking and realistic when asked about your five-year plan. Explain your reasons for leaving your last job honestly and professionally. Demonstrate your resilience when discussing how you handle stress and pressure. Be prepared to negotiate your salary expectations. And remember, asking insightful questions at the end shows your interest and engagement. Practice these responses, tailor them to your job and industry, and you'll be well on your way to acing your interview. Good luck with your interviews, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more helpful videos.